Superbugs, how bacterial evolution can lead to antibiotic resistance. Do you ever wonder why your doctor always tells you to take the full course of antibiotics even when you no longer feel sick? It's to prevent the formation of superbugs, antibiotic resistant bacteria. Let's see what happens when you get a stomach bug. You may have only eaten a few bad bacteria, but they grow and divide quickly and before you know it, you may have up to 100 million infectious bacteria living in your gut. But these bacteria are not all exactly the same. Every time a bacterial cell divides, it must first make a copy of its DNA to give to the new cell. Sometimes there are mistakes in the copying process and the new cell's DNA ends up being slightly different than the old cell's DNA. The new cell will keep passing on this mistake in its DNA, called a mutation, every time it divides. All of these mutations lead to genetic diversity in the bacteria population. Because genes are the instructions that make cells, the bacterial population now has diversity. Just like humans with slight differences in their genes have different colored hair or a different tolerance for alcohol, these diverse bacteria now have different responses to antibiotics. When you take your first day of antibiotics, these drugs will kill most but not all of the bad bacteria. Thanks to genetic diversity, some of the bacteria will do a better job than others of surviving the drugs. If you stop taking your antibiotics before they kill all of the bad bacteria, you will leave only the strongest of the bunch. The bacteria that survive will keep growing and dividing. This is real life evolution by the process of natural selection. These stronger bugs can then keep evolving, collecting more mutations and leading to even stronger, more drug resistant bacteria. Check out this video from the Kishoni lab at Harvard to see the evolution of antibiotic resistant bacteria before your very eyes. And here at New Scientist Live, watch Dr. Freya Harrison's talk to hear about an unexpected superbug cure that she and her colleagues discovered in an ancient manuscript.